Hi there, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to renew your driving license on eCitizen. And if you're interested in this service and any other service, please do not hesitate to reach out on the contacts that are on the screen. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing is to log in. So I'm going to log into eCitizen account and I'll just put here the password and click on sign in. I'm going to send the OTP on the phone and once it's come, I'm going to type it here just um, like that and then I'll click on next. Okay, let it load and I'll click on continue. And we've been able to log in. So you see here the license is expired. So all we need to do is to renew and we just click on this icon and it's going to load just a moment. Now we need to fill some fields here, uh, those that are highlighted with the red asterisk. So uh, let me just move through so that you can see what we need to fill. And I'll get back here and fill the place of birth, which is Kakamega. And then uh, we'll move down and fill in the blood group. If you know the blood group, you are going to fill. If you don't know, click on unknown. Then I'll move to country of residence, which is uh, Kenya. Just select Kenya. Then uh, I'll move to the physical address. I'll put there 71 and uh, um, just like that. Then put there Shinyalu. Okay. And then uh, the collection center, of course, uh, I'll put there Kamega because he is in Kakamega, so I'll put there Kakamega Huduma Center. And then uh, let me check if everything is okay. Then if you find that it is okay, all you need to do is to click on a hereby confirm and then click renew. Then this will load and now you need to pay. And he has a smart DL. That's why he has to pay 3050 and there are different ways to pay. So I'll click on M-Pesa. And then there are two options. You can click here and put your M-Pesa pin or use the long way of pay bill and account number. So you need to pay for that. And once you've paid, a receipt will be generated and you'll download the receipt and print. And you will now wait for about a month or so, so that you can go and pick your smart DL in the chosen Huduma Center. And the process is as easy as that. I hope that you have found value in this video and if that is the case, please do not hesitate to like this video and above all, share the video to your friends and family so that they can learn a thing from this video. Otherwise, I want you to click anywhere on the screen to watch our next video and until then, make sure that you keep creating. Peace.